Unless you're one of those. I don't know, man. I still think I've got a better source for why the Liberal Party's awesome than the facts. My dad. Right, so is your dad a political scientist or... Nah, man, he owns a deli where he cuts through, like, processed meats all day. Surely that's better, man. Like, his whole job is to cut through the crap. Ah, feed a mess on a baloney in two ways, man. Huh? Everyone else our age surely is aware that the Liberal Party is not a governing party. They're a theatre ensemble. The ensemble of inept visionless wasps who clearly fantasise more about opening up a Jim's mowing franchise than they do the direction of the nation. Yeah, that'd be the day. Being treasurer is just a side gig, so one day I can live my dream. A bunch of extras, hired by some of the most evil corporations on earth to pretend to be representatives of the people. Probably the exact same cast that played senators in the television series Rome just handed their togas in for cheap suits. I mean, would anyone even be slightly surprised if Chris Pine had a Star Now account and his only other credit was, I played Randall in Recess. By now, we're all familiar with their range, from their classic thriller, Hypocrisy Rising, to their smash hit, Triple Oh No, It's a Budget Emergency. Emergency. And that's what makes their latest performance so interesting, reaching way beyond their current acting abilities of yelling every time a Labour parliamentarian gets up. <laughs> These tongueless men attempting to display the raw emotion of upset are going for something completely left of field in their latest script. It's a modern take on Robin Hood entitled Budget 2016. A fictional tale of robbing from the rich and giving to the poor, and I know what all the theatre enthusiasts are thinking. The ensemble of inept visionless wasps attempting Robin Hood. Oh, I better see if my grandson wants to see this. He loves farces. However, sadly, as always, the execution was a bit of a letdown. I think they bit off more than they could chew in attempting to suspend our disbelief with a malconceived cast Ooh, as highbrow as my brow. I mean Malcolm Turnbull attempting to perform the timeless monologue. <clears throat> Getting tough on the rich, avoiding tax. Can you think of a more poorly cast performer? He's a member of BRW's top 200 richest Australians. That's like Danny DeVito playing the love interest in Cheese the Man. Yeah, sure, I'm a freshman soccer star. Mitz, hi. Line. Time. I knew that. I know all. No. Why is this the only time I get to be in the videos? Meets high time the wealthy ceased using superannuation as a tax loophole and commence using the Cayman Islands and Panama as a tax loophole. Leaders lead by example. That was that lived. And it was far better! You think the monologue is climax when Malcolm claims the Liberal Party has lessened the amount the super wealthy are allowed to claim as tax-free superannuation by five thousand dollars. But then out of nowhere, he reveals that the Liberal Party also gave those very same millionaires a tax cut three and a half times that. $17,000. Meaning in a twist everyone saw coming, in the Coalition rendition of Robin Hood, millionaires wind up $12,000 better off? For God never closes an artisan craft at Mansion Door without opening at least three ornate church windows. Can I have a towel? Oh, the unwashed masses are demanding a wash! Oh. <laughs> Damn the actor's tool belt possessing only imagination! I'm just gonna go in and get a towel. And you shall hand it directly to I! My face is wetter than yours. To be fair, there are moments of exceptional acting. They do almost make you forget they receive nearly 100% of their funding from companies like Exxon, Lean Lease and BHP with their aptly named Google Tax. Because a lot of people are saying it's so minuscule it doesn't even qualify as a tax, to which I'd retort, well, Google Tax then. Passes the raw definition. Which is revealed, very dramatically, to raise a whopping $200 million over the next four years. The same time period multinationals are expected to avoid $33,600,000,000. So again, cannot stress this enough, this is the Liberal Party's rendition of Robin Hood. Where we, the Liberal Party, a real parliamentary party... Don't put that in inverted commas, Scott Morrison. You're not good at that living. Or for that matter, anything at all. Taking corporate tax evasion from $33.6 billion all the way down to $33.4 billion. No, we just handed corporations a $100 million tax cut. Yeah, that was a bit harsh throwing that on them in just the cycle of a leap here. So we'll take it from $33.6 billion to $33.5 billion. Oh, uh, if we're counting corporate tax cuts, when I was treasurer, I gave them $6 billion. Shut up, Joe Hockey. Oh. But, uh, Malcolm, if we add that, we've actually increased the amount corporations are getting away with by 5.9 billion. All the motivation to act 
better, you talentless bulldog. George Brandis, I mean, fry attack. Oh, just because I'm fat and bald, I should have never said people have the right to be bigger than... Calculate the figures, you obese mole rat, and I'll give you a turkey leg. Ooh, turkey's the big chicken. Uh, we're up to 39 billion, 500 million, sir. And the, uh, 7.6 billion dollar tax cut I gave to the fossil fuel industry. Tony, I thought we've discussed this. Your wheezing genius Malcolm in the Middle character is no longer required. You're... Just intimidated by my uh, powerhouse delivery. Right, so apparently we're only going to put up with $47.1 billion. Don't look in the camera. Why, is it like looking at a solar eclipse? It's all right, I'm wearing glasses. Don't forget the $7.4 billion we just gave to the big banks in this budget. No, be quiet, Chris Pine. You man-child, you're only here to regain us with your happy genes. OK, but we're allowing corporations to get away with $54.5 billion now. Oh, so that's where that $54.1 billion we cut from hospitals went. Oh, will this ever be filmed? Some of us have a blimp to catch to the Cayman Islands. Hang on, we're only going to get $100 million from the Google tax? It's going to cost us about seven times that to chase it down. No, you dancing fool. We're pretending to chase these corporations. It's a $678 million prop. We're actors. We pretend this is theatre. You don't have to tell me. It says in my star now account that I'm a... Triple threat. Oh, God, he's singing again. Happy place. Happy place. I'm a franchise owner of Jim's Mowing. No, the blimp I was going to catch to the Cayman Islands has been exposed. Oh, the humanity. The Liberal Party's rendition of Robin Hood. Zero stars. Please press the subscribe button now. Come on.